we go. So. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, you got to laugh. Yes. Got to laugh. So, <laughs> so I'm going to have a look at Mr. Wizard. Oh, Mr. Cause, Wizard. Mr. Wizard, yeah. Because he thinks there's oxygen in the air. Yeah, also, he thinks, absolutely, he's yeah. He's trying to brainwash children into thinking there's oh, oxygen. Oh, well, yeah, brainwash, indoctrinate yeah. kids. Bit of CO2 testing. We're going to have a look at bricks, carbonates, and we're going to have a look at Oh, uh, CD's CD, a, a, a user called CD. Absolutely, yeah. yeah look so that's what comment. we're going to... So we're all ready to uh, rock and roll yeah, then. Yeah, got the time going. Yeah, everything's... Yeah. Let's, Let's go. go! It's going to annoy some people. <laughs> uh, you can be very intelligent and very good at what you do, and you can still be stupid. Yeah, well, oh, we're yeah, back, back again. again yeah. Annoying people the truth. Because a lot of people just hate the truth. Absolutely, yeah. A lot of people just really uh, oh, dislike dude, the truth, hate the truth. just and hate it. You know, they don't really like it. it. That's why it's so nice to be honest and open with people. I oh, know, yeah, yeah. As if you've got nothing to hide. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the earth is not a spinning ball. Absolutely. It's just fantasy. It's just absolute it's just fantasy. It's just up there. That's all it absolutely. is. Absolutely. And so, it's, Lots of people live in a dream world in the globe society. They do absolutely, of course. And people like you and me don't really like. But but you well, and me don't really live in a dream world. No, at all. although I, I will say that uh, from earlier, I c we, <sighs> we can both understand why they have the globe, Earth. <sighs> yeah, we can both understand why the globe is there Fair, absolutely but in people's imagination absolutely but it doesn't need to be it doesn't need, need to, to be, be there if with the life, proper support the proper education absolutely we don't need to life have it. will still continue absolutely life goes on absolutely absolutely but be, so but before we get going we've got to do our song absolutely and for yeah. everyone's displeasure or pleasure and we've got to give it up by Casey and the Sunshine yeah, Band. It's about time you globies gave it up. Absolutely. So here we go. And that's not the smoking. Absolutely. So feel free to join in. Yeah, come on, if join you so in. wish come on, to. Come on, all you globies out there. Yeah, let's on. get on that disco Cheer. beat. Let's Cheer. get Clap down, baby, come to on. that disco sound. Whoa, yeah. Woo. Let's go. That's it, yeah. Shake those hips. Woo! Slide those feet. Do 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 do. Yeah. Let's go. Everybody wants yeah, you. Everybody wants you. Everybody wants your love. Yeah, but they can't have it. Can I'd they? just like to make it's you mine taken. all night. What like everybody else? Na 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 na. na, na, na. <laughs> Babies give it up, give it up. Babies give it up. Na 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 na. na, na. Oh, Babies give it up, give it up. Baby, give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Give it Let's up. Go. Everybody sees you. Everybody looks and stares. Yeah. I'd just like to make you mine all night. Oh, yeah. Oh, na 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 Baby, give it up. Na 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 na. Globies, give it up, give it up. Baby, give it up. Yeah. Give it up, give it up, give it up. Pop up. Give it up. Give it up. Globies. Go on, give it up. Give it up. Guys. Here we go.
Oh, uh, you got to laugh anyway. Thank you ever so much. There we go, yeah. And um, KC and KC. the Sunshine Some Band. band yeah. We should have been wearing sunglasses, shouldn't we? we probably singing wasn't. that song. Oh, yeah. Like that, yeah. Singing that song, yeah. absolutely. And, and, and uh, one thing I've noticed with people in the Globe Society, and that is... I do. It does make me laugh when I see people wear sunglasses when it's not even sunny. Absolutely, a lot of people do seem to have this kind of disease where they um, don't like sun sunlight. Or is it they that, don't? They dislike people. They could be vampires. Oh yeah, because they don't like people. So they wear their sunglasses to hide them from the daylight. Absolutely, yeah. Mm. Yeah, they could be vampires <laughs> lurking. Amongst us. Absolutely, of course. Anyway, mm. now, so what should we start for tonight then, Peter? Okay, well... That, should that, we do CD's uh, comment? Oh, yeah, let's do CD, his comments. Oh, look, someone's just left... Oh, we've had a little um, comment come in. Straight um, in, number five. Jennifer All Red. Well, not all Water blue. is hydrogen and oxygen, H2O. Two, two atoms of hydrogen <laughs> and one of oxygen. <laughs> really? Shall we? We've got to do it while we're here. We've got oh, to, right, we've yeah. got to on, reply. Here we go. Um, electrolysis Always. producing hydrogen from water. Sorry, I disagree with you there. So, so um, Jennifer. 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 Reminds me of some Holly song, Jennifer. Well, thank you for your opinion. Oh, yes, of course, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for your opinion, Jennifer, for your... Come on, hurry up. We should have said na 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 na. Hurry Yeah, so I've written there. I've written, well, thank you for your opinion, Jennifer. Have you any proof to support your view? Your view, absolutely. Because that's all we're asking people. But this will nicely If anyone wants to watch that, that's electrolysis producing hydrogen from water, which is a load of bollocks. In my opinion. opinion. Now let's go and now look let's at go back CD's to CD. Now comment. CD, it was on this one, wasn't it? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, so it was on this one. It was on our uh, video, Fantastic. Introduction to <clears throat> Electrolysis of Chemical Compounds in Solution. Right, and now we, we from CD's comments, we can be rest oh. assured that he does actually watch and listen to our videos. Absolutely, of course. So hopefully CD... CD. If you are listening to this video... Compact disc. What we'd like from you it's some information some a video would be absolutely fantastic so that we could actually watch and you can show us your demo your equipment your apparatus but what we'd like you to do is explain to us why you think the gases during your electrolysis is coming from the water and not the electrolytes yeah, because basically... All and all the electrodes. Because in his comments, he's typing to us that he's seen Absolutely, a reduction course. in the amount of water. But he's not mentioned anything about the electrolytes. It's, but I've left it running for 32 hours, and in 20 hours, electrode loss was less than 2 grams. Mm. Water went from 1.5 kilograms to 20 milligrams. But it's milligrams. Not water. Is that milligrams? Mg, oh, be. 200 milligrams. But is he talking and about by then the electrodes were just only touching the water, took measurements and refilled it with 1.3 kilograms of water. But he's taking water out, adding water is to he? it. But is he not using an, an electrolyte? What's his setup? Added no more electrolyte uh, and it's still producing gas at the same rate as well. But it's a solution. It's a solution he's using, not water. Uh, absolutely, it's a solution he's well, well, using. The temperature of the solution was, was he, I'm not interested in, put one gram of electrolyte in and the deionized water didn't evaporate Apparently on its so. own. You, you, you we need, need to, to you put need it in a to, video so we can see. There's too much information see. and we, well, there's too much information. Just put it in a video. Yeah, put it in a video like we it, have. Like, absolutely. We, we There's someone like D.A. Brownie. We watched one of his, he tried, he tried to debunk us with our view about water not conducting electricity and he failed in my opinion yeah, because he didn't because the water went blue absolutely because water went blue which in other words means that the water decomposed the yes. coin the coin the cooper nickel that's coin. why the water went blue mm. okay because the there's copper in the coin <clears throat> so now if you're saying that uh, the, the, the water 
has got the hydrogen and oxygen and that's what it's coming from just do a video give us the link and we'll go and watch the video absolutely. and then we'll tell you where we think absolutely. in our opinion um it doesn't match our you haven't proved anything absolutely, absolutely. rather than just type rather than stuff. just type 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 lots and lots well, of typing stuff. your opinion stuff. on the screen absolutely of course hmm. But he has actually replied because he had to, he he also said I have I also have enclosed it so evaporation isn't going to affect results. But he's got a solution. How can he split absolutely the yeah. water from his electrolyte? Absolutely. How or how, how are you going to do it? Or or vice versa? How can he split the electrolyte from the water? So how can you do that? Well, how? he could say. Well, what he could do is he he could evaporate the water and you'll have the. But he hasn't taken it out of his electrolytic tub. Absolutely, but the thing is, even if you allow the water to evaporate and leave the electrolyte remaining, how do you know that some of the electrolyte isn't evaporated off with the water vapor? Absolutely, you know, yes, it's yeah. it's ridiculous how people are assumes. going about to try and disprove our claim. Absolutely, because it's well, absolutely because ridiculous. Think about this: <clears throat> if you put water in a tub. In a, an electrolytic tub, and then you add an electrolyte, say potassium hydroxide, <coughs> sodium hydroxide. It Do, no doesn't longer matter how much it is. It doesn't matter. That Absolutely. water is no longer water as such. It's a solution. <coughs> well, because you've dissolved that electrolyte in that water. So how then can you then separate the water from that electrolyte to know that you've lost the water because it's been it's, ga uh, it's gone into the gases. How are you going to do that? Absolutely. At the end of the day, think about it logically. You, you can't separate your electrolyte from your water. You can't weigh these things at all. Mm. Lots of this, um, lots of stuff um, is going on in the electrolytic process. But one thing we in our opinion, are aware of, and that is the water isn't being split into hydrogen and, and oxygen. oxygen. Nothing because can... we've got evidence to show that the oxygen and the hydrogen can come from the electrolyte and or the electrodes. And not the water. And not the water. The water decomposes. Absolutely. Water loss can easily <clears throat> be accounted for in an electrolytic process simply by evaporation, Water loss through absorption into the electrodes, which is a possibility, um, um, and probably lots of other ways. And lots of, abso absolutely, yeah. We've, we we know spillages, you know. spillages, um, evaporation. I mean, if you if you're taking water out and putting it into another tub to it's have a look at your yeah. electrodes, you're going to lose water, water. here, there, and absolutely. everywhere. Aren't you? Yeah. yeah, you know. I mean, come on. I mean, it's a it's a ridiculous way of going about, about it. it. Absolutely, really, you mm. know. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, we want to see 100% conclusive proof that water contains hydrogen and, and oxygen. oxygen. If you That's can't right. do that, yeah. don't bother trying. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just admit you've yeah. just got an opinion, just like we have. Mm. And that's it. And you've the, got no proof. And the trouble is, is that you can just have water in your electrolytic top and have your electrodes really close together. But you'll see the electrode, one electrode, breaking down. Yeah, because we, we asked we asked CD, we said, can you tell me firstly how I can demonstrate that deionized water is unchanged during the process? process? How do we know, how can anyone know that water... Deionized during, water? Well, water. Oh, well, yeah. Water. Water's water, isn't water's it? Water's water, whether it's deionized or not, whether it comes from the tap. Water's water. How do we know that water during the electrolytic process remains unchanged? Hmm. This is the this is the question. How how can anyone determine this? Because de de in answers our, on a postcard, mm, please. Because in our understanding, deionized water doesn't have any ions in it. Absolutely. So how it you, can it'll conduct it'll electricity? You, it'll give you about four four parts per million, won't it? TDS. Oh, on your TDS. Yeah. TDS. So there must meters. be some a slight amount. There's there's a, a small amount. Small of, amount. Um, impurities, impurities still contained in the water because it still allows a very minute current to flow between yeah, two because electrodes. man can't get it that clean absolutely free of, of impurities free of impurities your tds meter would would, would give you a value of zero mm. if your water had no so deionized water still has 
ions in it. Absolutely, yes. But yes. not obviously that not many. Not many, no. So, you know, obviously if you're unhappy with your product, go and see, uh, take, take, your, take your money back. Get your money back, yeah, from, from, your your back, from your hardware shop. Yeah. Absolutely, go or your, your, anyway. your DIY shop. So really, but, so the, the top and bottom of that is that... Absolutely. Let's see some proof. Absolutely, you were the ones that said try this. This is what I did, but now it seems all you're trying to do is berate me like you are an immature teacher because but, I but, actually but, but, did it and you think somebody but else hasn't, hasn't done, done it at all. You know, we'd like to see some proof. He's, he's, he's making some recordings and this, that and the other, but you've got to prove that those gases are coming from the water this is, alone. This is the thing. This is what you guys have got to do because you're making the claim. claim. We're making a claim which is just an opinion. Absolutely. We don't have to prove anything. anything. You guys are putting it forward as factually Fact. true. Mm. Just like Jennifer. Just like Jennifer. Where's your proof? She's not saying in her opinion. Mm. She's actually saying that um, water is hydrogen, hydrogen and, and oxygen. oxygen. And we're saying it's not. We're just saying it's not in our mm. opinion. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, anyway, of course. let's move on. Let's move on anyway. Thank you ever so much. <clears throat> So here we go, let's go on, let's have a look at some CO2 testing. Some CO2 testing. testing. Oh, let's have a little look at some CO2 testing. Oh, some CO2 because we, testing. We, we, we've done some... Um, well, yeah, we, well, we did this, the, the CO2 testing. We took it just one stage further in that we actually measured the, the we got a TDS reading. Yeah, we got a TDS meter where we wanted to record the impurities in the uh, cows in the water. Yeah, yeah. No, in the in the lime water, wasn't it? In in the lime, lime water. water, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And but we also wanted to after we scrubbed the gas in lime water, we also wanted to do the flame test. Absolutely, to because see whether the, the gas had been scrubbed clean. clean. Absolutely. As it were. Mm. And is it possible that it would um, put a flame up? Or even sustain a flame? flame. I mean, mm. it's possible. Yeah. I don't know. You know, we'd have to see. But we got, we managed, we did manage to do a t an initial TDS reading on lime water. And oh, this is the lime got, water. Hold on, this is the lime water that we we didn't filter at all. Yeah, we, yeah, we didn't we filter, filter it filter at all. It. Yeah, we don't filter lime water because we don't feel that you, you, you need, need to. to. Yeah. Why do you need to filter lime? But anyway, it's just ridiculous. But we got a reading here. Let's go. Let's hopefully we can go. I think. Oh yeah, sixteen. Can you read that? One hundred and sixty-two. Is it? One hundred and sixty-two. Or yeah, yeah. Or yeah, one hundred and sixty-two. That's what I'm looking at. One hundred and sixty-two. Or was that that? What temperature? Temperature. Did I press the temperature? I don't know. I, I, you did it, not me. No, I can't remember. Oh, it may have been. Yeah, it may have, it may been, have been, yeah, the yeah. Yeah. been the temperature. Could have been the temperature. Yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, maybe we shouldn't. Uh, Hundred and sixty. Yeah, yeah, because that, yeah, would, account. that would probably account. What yeah. was the last one? Award the temperature is sixteen. Yeah. And, the, and the last one we got. Uh, yeah, that was four hundred. It was it four hundred. Four hundred. Yeah. yeah. So, th that, so was, that would account. Yeah. That would account. But if so, we just show the the the. The bit with the um, the flame test. The flame test. Could you scrub it through? There we go. There we go. Was, yeah, I'm shaking it up there, which is what we've done before. <coughs> we can tell it's the lime water's gone milky, obviously. So wait there, and there. Yeah, there, there we go. go. And I'm sure. Wait there. If I'm right. Yeah, you do a pH test, which right, reads we, about six. We do a pH six test. Six and a half. Which, there you go. There's the pH test. Some people say, but that's because that's carbon dioxide. Absolutely, yeah. Because we'd like to know actually what carbon, carbon dioxide, dioxide actually, actually is. is. Yes. Because it's um, because it's, you and me would think that it's only I'm just it can only be carbon dioxide through this. if there's carbon within the reaction. There you go. So that's that's about a six. Six. Uh, around a six. Yeah, I might push it to six and a half. Around six. Six and, and a half. And then we... Six uh, and a half, maybe. Six and a half. Six and six. a half. And I'm sure this maybe. is where we, this is where we've... Do the flame test. Do the flame test. So it's been go. scrubbed. We've done the pH. We've done the pH. 
There you go. It's gone out. It's gone out, yeah. It's gone out. So we're quite, we're quite happy that that is, um, will not sustain the flame. flame. Now, because I've, I've often thought that that's a vapour, but because you're scrubbing the gas in lime water... Absolutely, of course. Then that has to be kind of... Well, it, well it could it be a vapour? Could mm. it be, be a vapour? Um, that's the trouble. Nobody can actually see it. Absolutely, This yeah. is what's... Um, absolutely, of course. But, you know, it's... It's... It's a conundrum. It's a conundrum. Absolutely. It's but a I'm, conundrum. I'm absolutely positive. The salt has something to do with it. The salt. The migration salt. or migration. Mm. Because one, even, yeah, even I would agree. Yeah, there's a migration. There's a going migration on. of something. Because can't, how can you get carbon dioxide from a substance that doesn't contain any carbon? Absolutely, yeah. Where does the doesn't carbon come from? It doesn't make sense. Just does not make sense, and we got some examples to show people. Absolutely, yeah, of course. <clears throat> um, let's just quickly have a look at bricks. Some bricks now, very quickly, because we've bricks. got quite a bit to. Oh yeah, get through. I'm sure we've had a little look at bricks before, but because we mentioned about um, efflorescence, efflorescence, migration, migration, of migration salt, salt, which just suddenly disappears. Out of nowhere. Well, well, well. Essentially, you know, you don't see it on brick wall, but after a period of time with weathering, water, um, you'll you'll start. See, you can start seeing efflorescence coming to the surface, which is basically your salt. Yeah. So let's have a look at see if a brick is made. And if I'm right in saying, we need to just go. Um, oh no! Is at the top? Was it, at, was the it top? at the top? Yeah. Was it, it was really straight at the top? Yeah. Bricks. Was it really? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. A brick can be composed can be composed of clay bearing soil, sand, and lime. And lime or concrete materials. Or, yeah, or and lime or concrete materials. materials. <coughs> and lime yeah, is from calcium. Calcium carbonate. Well, or limestone stone. has well, lime is calcium, calcium oxide. oxide. Lime, isn't it? Quicklime. Quick, quick uh, well, quicklime. But lime is associated with calcium. calcium absolutely. The word lime is associated yeah. with calcium. Not which fruit. means when we do look at our efflorescence on brickwork, I'm hoping that there'll be a... No, there might not be. No? No. Uh, oh, I don't know. Oh, no, you need to go on the through. efflorescence. Yeah. There was a bit in there about um, bricks as well. Scroll down. Oh, there we go. Right there. Because they're all, they're all made in kilns, you know. Because calcium, the thing with calcium is that calcium can oh. sustain and survive high temperatures. Calcium oh. can do that. Do you need to be... Well, it's just saying about the, the way the bricks are dried. They're dried for 20 to 40 hours at 50 to 150 degrees centigrade before being fired in a kiln. Absolutely. Yeah, the heat for drying is often waste heat from the kiln. So in our understanding, a, a brick is oxygenated or calogenated, which gives it its strength. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, when you because that's why it. you have fire bricks, because fire bricks have probably been uh, undergone higher temperatures, higher temperatures, temperatures for longer periods, periods of, of time. time, so they can sustain, mm. they can survive. Mm withstand absolutely high temperatures because you don't get those high temperatures for mm. a long period of time that is a very good point mm. i've often wondered how you how can you have a kiln that can go up to temperatures of say 1000 degrees centigrade mm. and essentially it's easy to do all they do is that they build it with uh bricks that are subjected to temperatures that are around that temperature, 1000 degrees C, for a long period of time. Because you're not gonna have your, te your kiln on for a long period of time, are you? Well, no. Really, you're, you're gonna have it on for, say, at most, say, a couple of days. Yeah. Whereas you could, when you're making these bricks for kilns, what you could be doing is subjecting your bricks to high levels of heat for long periods of time, mm. even for four or five days. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, you know. Yeah. I mean, here it's got, for example, this is about the colour of bricks, influences on colour. And a lot of it is, 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 is down to what goes into the brick. So here we've got 
uh, uh, pink bricks will have a high iron content but white or yellow bricks have a higher lime content so you can understand that the efflorescence efflorescence is just the you, lime you could actually call it a oh. white brick absolutely and one, absolutely, one yeah. thing we noticed when we went to Halkin common we noticed there were some limestone uh, rocks, rocks that had patches of white patches efflorescence efflorescence on it absolutely and that is the salt Migra migrating well to that the has surface. migrated to the surface, surface. of the stone oh. so there's there's no reason why when we're looking at uh, thermal decomposition of say carbonates that um, a salt a salt does migrate can migrate can migrate into the calcium hydroxide to turn it milk or to give it the appearance that it's turned milky mm. and we we will we'll always stand by the the knowing that lime water is an alkali that turns lime water milky absolutely it of course. is not an acid acids cannot mainstream turn puts uh, lime puts water it across milky. that co2 is an acidic gas so in our understanding co2 cannot turn lime water milky on that premise it Absolutely. has to be an alkali. Something well, the, alkaline has to turn. When, lime when we milky. saw the pH paper, that was like six. That six, was six, six, six and, and a half. half so yeah. below oh. the you know the seven. Mm. Have, you know the mean. So there's something else that value. There's something else that's migrating in that reaction. Absolutely, yeah. That you causes can't see that you lime can, water to, to turn, turn milky. Yeah. yeah, that's our view. Mm. Um, obviously, needs a bit more investigation well it's but it's very feasible absolutely mm. so so that wraps us up what we're still um ongoing with with the co2 it would be so nice to nail down what co2 actually is mm. well i think what might help is if we look at car maybe what we should do is actually buy some coal mm. that's mm. an idea that's a good mm. idea coal. isn't it yeah maybe we should buy some coal. coal man absolutely because coal would give off carbon dioxide when it's burned oh right yes that's right of course then we can check the ph a bit more on that and we can actually right. do a lot more with it absolutely of course but one thing you've got to bear in mind and that is carbon is not is immiscible in water mm. carbon and water do not mix absolutely so that's one thing that's, that's why they always remember that's why they use carbon as a filter for water absolutely of course so now let's what else can we do then peter well let's have a look at carbonates let's have, have a look, look at carbonates. carbonates so what what was what did we need to do because, well oh, what, really what oh. we should do is have a look at thermal decomposition oh right yeah oh right yes we should as look i at that. mentioned it before but uh, this is the thermal decomposition page that's on wikipedia because we were going to look at this oh. with uh, carbonates Absolutely. Now, thermal decomposition or thermolysis, thermolysis is a chemical decomposition caused by heat. The decomposition temperature of a substance is the temperature at which the substance chemically, chemically decomposes. decomposes. Mm. Okay, so bear that in mind. Chemically decomposes. decomposes. Mm. The reaction is usually endothermic as heat is required to break chemical bonds in the compound undergoing decomposition. Mm. If decomposition is sufficiently exothermic, a positive yeah, feedback loop usually. is created, producing thermal runaway and possibly an explosion. Boom! Oh, well, the reaction is usually endothermic as heat is required to break chemical bonds. Yeah. But if you're making calcium oxide, you're, mm. you're creating chemical bonds. You're creating chemical with bonds with the heat as well. This is another thing you've got to think because... When you think about it logically, even though you might be, you might feel or think that you're decomposing a substance, you could actually be um, constructing constructing a substance, substance. through heat, heat. because mm. that's what you do when you make iron, aluminium, aluminium, mm. lots, lots of other substances as well. You react oh, right, with yeah. heat. Some people would say water, oxygen, and hydrogen. Ho, 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 ho. Absolutely, yeah. Mm. Anyway, and anyway, come on. Now, now they've given some examples. Some examples. Now calcium carbonate. Yeah, that's limestone or chalk. Now we've come to the conclusion that calcium carbonate no. is it's wrong to call 
calcium carbonate limestone. Okay. Yeah, it's Whereas, wrong. It shouldn't be done. Some shouldn't people be done. would say limestone contains now that's calcium better. Carbon. Limestone contains calcium carbonate. In limestone, the rock, there is a small percentage of calcium carbonate. But carbonate, well, well, we're still out on that one. Yeah, the jury's still out on what exactly exactly. a carbonate is. Because a calcium carbonate, uh, well, calcium carbonate, even my understanding of it is what they call it, CaCO3. But the CO3, in my understanding, comes from the coke. Oh, of course. So basically, when you get your piece of limestone, Mm. okay, so your limestone is quarried, Okay, yeah. this is this is maybe a, an understanding. Your limestone's quarried. Mm. Okay, it's dug up to the ground, taken up to the surface. Mm. Okay, it's ground down into certain sizes, regular mm. sizes, and then it's basically calcined. Mm. Okay, exposed to um, very high, high temperatures, temperatures, around one thousand degrees centigrade, around that, and they say that the calcium carbonate. Okay, decomposes into calcium oxide. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I would say that that's wrong, and I would say essentially that the calcium carbonate or the limestone mm. um, turns into calcium, calcium oxide. Yeah, I would agree with that because the limestone contains other materials, materials that absolutely. they do not get rid of. Oof. They do. They don't filter the limestone. And take out the bits oh, that they don't are do they? not calcium carbonate. Oh, that's right. They just bomb it in. They don't do that, yeah. They just that's all chuck they do. it all in, don't they? So, mm. essentially, if you get your limestone and you call it calcium carbonate, that is something wrong to do. Because mm. if you bung it in your, your oven and you get calcium oxide come out, well, what's that the, calcium uh, oxide is going to have other things in it, other impurities. What's, what's, yeah. the, what's the melting point of calcium carbonate, limestone? Ah, oh. Now, that could be the thing, and that is calcium carbonate could have a certain um, um, temperature at which other substances contained within limestone would not be able to survive. Would burn off. Would burn off, thereby leaving Leaving you with calcium oxide. oxide. That's a possibility. That's a possibility, but how do you know that you don't have calcium oxide to begin with? Absolutely. Because calcium oxide, um, we gave calcium carbonate to a plant and we got the oxygen from it, mm. did we not? Yeah, because there's ox- in our understanding, there's oxygen in calcium. Did we do that? Did carbon. we do that? Yeah, Have we, we done it? Yeah, we did it, yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, we got calcium. Yeah, we relit the splint only once. There was only a little bit. I was just trying to think, what yeah, did? Oh, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, it did, it did do that. Yeah. It did that, yes. So it's, it's possible got oxygen that in there. the calcium carbonate's already got, got oxygen, oxygen in, in there. It. Where it got the carbon from, I just haven't a clue. I was saying, you tell me. So we've we've got that as a thermal um, example. decomposition example. example. But is it a decomposition? You, it's arguable. Really. I'd, I'd say it's more of a transition or a change. Absolutely, of course. But this is a great one because... Uh, it continues, it says some oxides, oxides, some oxides, especially of weakly electropositive metals, decompose when heated to high enough temperatures. Yeah. A classical example, even in saying it's a classical example, it's yeah, a decomposition. Get this one the decomposition of mercuric oxide to give oxygen and mercury metal. metal. Absolutely. But one thing that they're failing to say in that is that you heat up mercury metal. Yeah, yeah. In air, which will give you mercuric oxide. So you're giving something heat, then you're heating something up to release something. So you added the heat to add the oxygen. You, yeah, absolutely, yeah. All what you, so you're not really all uh, you're doing with the, with with Joe, what Joseph Priestley did with his mercuric oxide. Well, there should be a, there by should heating be. up mercury and metal. What you're doing is essentially the crust that forms on the top has mm. lost or is has lost its me, is metallic lustre. Lustre. Mm. It's lost its metalness. Mm. So when he if he scrapes off the uh, scrapes mm. off the the, the mercuric oxide, and then reheats that mercuric oxide. The oxygen is released, and the um, 
the mercuric oxide turns into mercury metal because that's what mercury metal was before originally before it was heated up oh but the crust it forms on the top is the part partly the ore that mercury, it's partly the, the ore that it because, was made from because let's have a look absolutely merc mercuric oxide absolutely yeah the color mercuric oxide. oxide now mercuric oxide let's have a look at the color there we go look the, there you go mercuric two oxide also called mercuric oxide or simply mercury oxide has a formula hg hgo it has a red or orange color mercury two oxide is a solid at room temperature and pressure mm. the mineral form of montroidite is very rarely found so essentially what Priestley did was that he heated up mercury metal quicksilver this was essentially what formed on the formed top. on the top, top. a crust because mm. the oxygen had been absorbed sorry the air. hot dry air had been absorbed into this stuff and it had obviously cooled cold and formed this um stuff because it contains the what people would say oxygen or in our understanding calcium. absolutely simple as that but let's have a look but where did the red come from the but where did the red come from? because we're thinking well where does the red color come, come from, from. Mm. and so we, we, we go on how mercury is actually made right. okay mercury element mm. mercury is a chemical element with symbol hg blah 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 mm -hmm. it is commonly known as quicksilver Silver. and was formerly named hydrogyrum hydrogyrum absolutely of course it's anyway. the only metal uh, metallic element that is liquid at standard conditions f or for temperature and pressure anyway. now this is beginning to remind me of being a product like aluminium mm, and not an element mm, absolutely. mercury absolutely because but there we go. mercury occurs in deposits throughout the world mostly a cinnabar cinnabar mm. mercuric sulfide, sulfide. Mm, sulfide oh mm. would you believe it mercuric sulfide mm. the red 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 i'll say like red red the mm. red pigment vermilion is obtained by grinding natural cinnabar or synthetic mercuric, mercuric sulfide, sulfide. Mm. well what do you know so you the make mercuric oxide essentially from mercury and you make mercury from mercuric sulfide which is red so Absolutely. let's have a little look at our thermal decomposition of mercuric oxide and well what do you know there's red there oh right yeah so obviously what we've red seen or is a color. migration of the um well really no what you're seeing the sulfide yeah basically we've yeah, seen yeah. a migration of the sulfide through the um manufacturing process of mercury and mercuric sulfide oxide yeah yeah that's what we're seeing and it's a oh, well, yeah. fantastic example of how things can appear and then disappear appear, yeah and then reappear but you can apply and disappear and reappear but the thing is with but you've got to put it in in order for you to get it out yeah, absolutely but the thing is with um oh what were we talking about decomposition thermal Decompos decomposition yeah, is that the the heating of mercuric uh sulfide cinnabar the heating yeah. of it to make your um mercury metal oh yes sorry the heating of mercury mercury metal will revert it back to cinnabar or reverse it back it forms the red o sulfide on the top oh no it could no it, that's what it could actually yeah you could what you and then could what you have. do is then you scrape that that uh or that cinema off the top surface yeah. off the top i mean it ah, might be a bit what refined. you might have at the and top and then if you heat it up again then you're going to revert that back to metal oh what you may have so you're having a bit of a yeah what you may have is mer not you may have mercury mercury sulfide yeah mm. okay is used to make mercury yeah yeah okay and what happens you heat the mercury up and you get what you may get not mercury oxide but mercury sulfide oxide oh well yeah possibly yeah on the top yeah because it contains that ox it contains the oxygen, contains the oxygen stroke calogen. calogen absolutely okay yeah, yeah. and then yeah. you heat it up the the calogen oxygen leaves oh. thus leaving the mercury metal no 
because when you heat up mercuric oxide, according to Mr. Priestley, it gives off a toxic vapor. Toxic now, vapor. That could be the sulfur. Now that could be the sulfur. That could be sulfur the, based. The sulfide. Yeah. Sulfide, because sulfides are quite poisonous, aren't they? Toxic. Hydrogen sulfide. Yeah. For example, that's a bit. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Smell that. <laughs> Dear me. Yeah. Was that you? Was that oh, yeah. you? It so, was that in so there? Oh, we, we are we are beginning to see a connection here, aren't we? We begin to see a connection, and the thing is, is that the trouble with carbon carbonates. dioxide and carbonates, and that is, it's going to be a lot. It's going to take us a bit more time to actually pinpoint. Although we have noticed some uh, s some common thread, common thread, because this or is what could we're looking. Be a common thread with carbonates. Absolutely, and of course. It's to do with color. Color, absolutely, of course. But often, um, but it's it's possible we could. Carry yeah, on. well, we could mention that. We so. we could we could mention that. So, and then uh, another one they've got with thermal decomposition here is when water is heated to well over two thousand degrees centigrade, a small percentage small of it, percentage. only small, will well, decompose into OH, monatomic oxygen, monatomic hydrogen, O and two. H. O oh, why can't and it H2. be oh, why can't it be O and H? It's O and H. Oh, right. so no, I think O two H two. And H2, that's Ooh. rubbish. Mm. Anyway, but uh, we need some evidence for that. Well, can anyone yeah. show us that? That'd be great. Um, the compound with the highest known decomposition temperature is carbon monoxide yeah. at around 3,870 degrees <laughs> centigrade. centigrade. Mm. Now, all they've got to do is find some materials that will actually survive those temperatures. Absolutely, yeah. Of course. No, because you'll find that that's the only thing that they can heat up. What's that? To that temperature. What, it's carbon, carbon monoxide. monoxide. The gas, but they've still got to contain it in something to, oh, well, yeah. to keep yeah, those yeah. temperatures. So they don't melt. Absolutely, mm. of course. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, of course. So, anyway. so, so that's it, really, isn't it? Yeah. So well, this is going to be ongoing, not on for long, though. Not on for long. Ongoing, of course. But what? Well, it's quite good that the the mercury is brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. The mercury, yeah. the the calcium carbonate. Yeah, we know that there's there's certainly serious things. Well, wrong with um, you and me would limestone. you and me would consider that there is oxygen in calcium limestone. Limestone. Yeah, I I'm I'm of the. We've just limestone. got to do our uh, carbomba photosynthesis yeah. with that, and then we we will be satisfied. If we get oxygen from it, we know that there's oxygen in calcium limestone in the calcium the carbonate lim that's contained in limestone yeah but we're also going to do something that's not we're also going to use something that isn't a carbon absolutely yeah hopefully we can do that asap uh, within mm. the next few days and so Come next on, thing on. we need to uh, move on, on and um, show to people and show to people that and that you still think oxygen is in the air oh we didn't do this at the beginning did we no we didn't we didn't yeah. do this at the beginning but this mm. is the main part and what what better person to um, uh, start support get, our view? Support our view or get a start. But there's no oxygen in the air. Absolutely, is Mr. Wizard? wizard. Or now, no, is a wizard? Is a wizard? Absolutely. Yeah. Now, apparently, yeah, Mr. Wizard. I mean, come on, what? This is absolute rubbish. What, yeah. what, how can anyone call themselves a wizard? Yeah, but it doesn't even dress up. It doesn't even dress up as a wizard. Absolutely. It used to be an old uh, 1980s Nickelodeon show. Mr. Wizard's World, World. Mm. every week on Wednesdays. Wednesdays. Wizard Wednesdays. Wizard Wednesdays. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, the following programme features worry. experiments that should, should only, only be, be performed, performed in a safe, safe environment. <laughs> Otherwise, you might burn your carpet. Okay, under, under the, the supervision, supervision of a responsible, responsible adult, adult science, science teacher or science, science professional. professional. People like us. Absolutely. But anyway, let's carry on and let's go through the oh, video. But the trouble is with the science teacher. Burning sugar. The trouble is, hold on. The trouble is with the science teacher is that the science teacher has got an agenda. They will put forward what's happening Absolutely. in their now, notice we've got a young girl, okay, Absolutely. or a young person here who who is required to be indoctrinated by Mr. Wizard. Absolutely. Okay, that's number first point. Absolutely. Okay. Okay, now Mr. Wizard. No, you need to play the sound. Oh, let's play the sound. You know what the C stands for? Carbon. Carbon. And the H? Hydrogen. And the O? Oxygen. Yeah, when you put them all together, like this and this form, you got sugar. 
Okay. Yeah. Have you ever burned? But when you think about it, you also get something that's quite explosive, really. Well, I mean, think twenty-two about hydrogen, eleven oxygen, 11, eleven oxygens. Yeah, I mean, it's unbelievable, isn't but it? But you know. when you think about it, they've always got to have that two to one, haven't they? Two hydrogen to one oxygen. Absolutely, mm. absolutely, of course. So, well, obviously, there's a lot of water in sugar. There must be. There must be a lot of water in, in sugar. sugar. Or it's been it's undergone through a lot of washes. Through a lot of what It's been During washed. It's manufacture. Oh, yeah, it's probably a hydrate. It's like pentahydrate. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Or a septahydrate Drates, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, let's yeah. carry on. Yeah. Have you ever burned sugar? Yeah. You know, it has a sort of a typical caramel kind of smell. Well, when you burn sugar, you actually free the hydrogen and the oxygen so you get water, and what's left behind is the carbon. Yeah. And you've noticed when you burn something on a stove how black it gets? Yeah. Well, let's burn some sugar. I'll put in a... So, so what Mr. Wizard is going to do is that he's going to show the girl how to burn sugar. How, how, to, how someone can burn sugar. sugar. Absolutely. And and I know what you're thinking. Yes, I can tell. Absolutely. I'll put in about a teaspoon or so. Get rid of the lump, okay? Now here's a nice long stick. And at the end of it is a match. Mm -hmm. So you take the match and I'll light the, the match on the end and you put it down there in the sugar, okay? Okay. Now, I've just got to point out to everyone, there's an awful lot of oxygen in the sugar. There's an awful lot of hydrogen. Mm. So this sugar should be very, very, very explosive. Mm. It, sh it should go up like anyone's business. <sighs> burning burning yep. sugar. Yep. Yep. Mr. Wizard. Here we go. Okay, put it down in there. Doesn't catch on fire, does it? No. Mm. Why not? Because what do you need to have a fire? You need oxygen. Oxygen is it? I was going to say you also need a fuel. Um, but there's there's eleven oxygens in sugar. There's eleven oxygen. And isn't there oxygen? oxygen? <laughs> but, but isn't there oxygen in the air? Oh, and that. Twenty-one percent oxygen in the air. Oh, and that. So we could call it twelve. Twelve oxygens, could we? Absolutely. Uh, you know, so so there's oxygen, and yet the sugar's not burning. Absolutely. Yeah, I can't work this one out. Yeah, I can't. I can't can you work, work that one out. Can any, anyone out there work this out? Why isn't the sugar fucking burning? Well, if, if you let, if you let her finish, because he he asks, why isn't it burning? So okay, just go back. There just you go. Because what do you need to have a fire? You need oxygen. Oxygen is, and usually it comes from air, right? And yeah. that's what happens when you burn sugar on the stove. Well, you don't need air. You really need a supply of oxygen, and you, as you said, and here's where we're going to get it. Do you know what the K stands for? So, so basically, he's saying that you need oxygen, and here's the supply of oxygen. oxygen. So there's no oxygen in Potassium the air. Potassium nitrate. So there's no oxygen in the air. Well, well, I well, can't, can't understand be. why he's using potassium nitrate. Now you've got oxygen in the air allegedly. You've got eleven oxygens in the in the sugar. You've got eleven oxygens in in the sugar. And then so you've got another three there. And you've got another three there. So it's eleven, twelve. You've got fifteen oxygens there. Absolutely. So. Uh, let's carry on. No. Potassium. The N. Nitrogen. And O. Oxygen. Yes. And it's that bunch of oxygen right there that we're going to release and combine with the carbon in the sugar. So then it'll... So release and combine with the carbon, carbon in, in the, the sugar. sugar. Yeah, because he's saying to her that it will release, the reaction will release water. But because so the then sugar. it wouldn't light. It will just turn into water then. Because the, the sugar goes black. Right, okay, so what we should see is the sugar turning into water. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. right, okay. Catch on fire. It sure will. Oh, it well, but they're saying it catches on fire. Oh, well, let's have a look. I'm try trying to work this one out. Teaspoon, put in about a teaspoon or so of that chemical, put it in there with the sugar, and mix it all up. And I'll get rid of these. Oh. So they're mixing sugar with potassium nitrate. nitrate. And is potassium nitrate... What what do they put potassium nitrate on? Is it, is, on? It, is it flammable? Is it is it potassium explosive? nitrate? Yeah, oh, potassium let's have a look at potassium nitrate. What is it? We K want to know. N O three. There we go. K N O three. Potassium is crystalline salt, salt, a strong oxidizer. There you go. So it would of you especially used especially making gunpowder. Gun 
gunpowder. Gunpowder. So that means it would be quite. Um, it would light well, very yeah. quickly. Let me just let me just that so everyone could see this. All oh, right. It's yeah. a strong oxidizer used well, especially in making gunpowder. Gun hmm. So he's putting in gunpowder. Something that they make gunpowder with in this sugar. Oh, the only reason why they call it O3 is because it's white, remember? Absolutely, of course. Let's carry on. Anyway. And notice I have it on a piece of wood here that I use for burning things. Okay, now one of the problems is we have to get it started. So I'm going to put some match heads in the middle. So what you do with the, with the match at the end of the stick is so, more, is, so he's more or less lighting gunpowder. He's, he's more or less basically. lighting gunpowder. And well, he's, he's making sugar. a charge. He's yeah. making a charge and he's just added the sugar with it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what do you think is going to happen when she... So uh, is he really burning the sugar? He's just burning the potassium, potassium nitrate. nitrate. That's what I'm thinking, absolutely. And the sugar's and just... Because the sugar's there. getting hot. Yeah. The sugar's getting hot. hot. From and the it, reaction. From the reaction. Let's yeah. have a little look. Come on. As you bring it near those match heads and catch them on fire. Okay. So they all catch the rest of it on fire. And you will soon see that you don't need air for a fire. All you need is a good supply of oxygen. Okay, bring it down there close. And step back over here with your hand. Get ready to stand back. There we go. That's neat. It's yeah. all bubbly. Yeah, it looks like a volcano. Yeah, a miniature. And all we're really doing is burning sugar with a good supply of oxygen. It's fizzing now. No, they're burning the potassium nitrate. So what do you need to have a good and the fire? Matches. Do you need air? Yeah, they're, they're burning the potassium nitrate and the match heads and the bits of wood that are, make up the broken match. Yeah, the sugar's just the, melting. The, the sugar's essentially just, just melting. melting and going black because of the heat Yeah, that's generated. I mean, did you see the lid? Even yeah. the lid, the, the paint or the covering of the lid. has gone black. Yeah. It's white there. Look at yeah. the lid, upturned lid. Okay, let's watch it again. And step back over here with your hand. Get ready to stand back. There we go. That's neat. Yeah. It's all bubbly. Yeah, it looks like a volcano. Yeah, a miniature. And all we're really doing is burning sugar with a good supply of oxygen. Uh, but, they're not bur the, but they're burning the potassium nitrate. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's enough oxygen in the air. Allegedly, so, there's yeah. oxygen in sugar. Eleven. Yeah. Why are they using the extra additional oxygen? Oxygen from the potassium nitrate. <laughs> well, I think they I think the reason why there, Pete, is because you can't really burn sugar. I, I, think, I think. I think. Well, you can. You can melt you it. Think? You can melt it. Can't you can you? melt sugar. You can melt sugar, but you and can't if you burn it, increase the heat. Or unless, oh, hold on. Or do you think our? It will go. It will go black. No, hold on. Do you think our definition of burning is different to theirs? Yeah, I think our di yeah our you know, definition of burning to is me, different to, to theirs. To me, burning means something that has a flame. Well, uh, to be devil's advocate, if you do watch the uh, reaction again, you will notice that there are yellow flames. Not many. Well, potassium's burning with the lilac Potassium flames. with the lilac, but you can see some yellow flames hidden. Oh, and that yeah. could well be the could, sodium. Could be the sodium that's mixed in with the potassium. But that could be the sodium that's mixed in with, with the, the potassium. Because I like to interchange potassium and sodium quite frequently. Absolutely, because it's quite possible that there's. Um, it's quite possible that there's um, a bit of tainting. A bit of tainting. But in our understanding, when we watched that, we thought to ourselves, "But hold on, they're adding the oxygen to create the reaction that they want. want. Thus, making the girl." Understand Think. that it's the oxygen that's required to start the uh, the that you're only using the, the potassium flame. nitrate for that oxygen. Absolutely, but it, you may you may not. find it's the potassium and the well the whole caboodle potassium nitrate that's required. And if you go on a match head as well, if you click uh, on a uh, match head, a match head. Oh, what what's the match head made of? Oh, match safe or safety match, isn't it? Yes, yeah, safety match. They're made of potassium chlorate. Potassium chlorate, chlorate. that's the one. And red phosphor. Red phosphorus. Yeah. Yeah. It's out of the box it contains red phosphorus, do apologise. Yeah. Uh, potassium chlorate, yeah. Potassium so chlorate. it sounds like he was burning a lot of potassium there. He was yeah. burning an awful lot of potassium because we saw sugar. that on the flame. Now, if you 
if you really think that oxygen's in the air, okay, this demonstration, okay, by uh, by Mr. 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 Wizard, Mr. Wizard just doesn't cut the cake for me, you know, no. because that sugar should have burned. Well, if, if he's saying that that's all you need is the oxygen, if, you've got if the you fuel. only need oxygen, hydrogen, twenty-two, twenty-two hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen there, twenty-two. You know. When you think about it, how can there be so much carbon in sugar? Well, how can car how can sugar have that? Chemical oh, formula. They, oh, sorry. They, they, there's so much carbon in it because they put the sugar through a carbonating tower. Oh, absolutely. They add the carbon yeah. th in the process of manufacturing times. white refined sugar. Twelve times. Absolutely. They put so oh, much so well, yeah, 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 through yeah. so much. Because it, in, they would have gone through a sulfidation. Is it sulfur? All. Sulfurization yeah. tower. But they've stopped doing that. They've because stopped of doing that. Health, safety, or whatever. So now they use carbon, carbon dioxide. dioxide. Yeah. And so it's got tw tw what was it? Twelve. Twelve. Twelve tw carbons because it's 12 been carbons. exposed to carbon dioxide. But twelve times. Absolutely. But even without the carbon without the carbonation, you still wouldn't be able to light your sugar. Sugar. I know. Yeah. yeah. You know, you'll Not need that. to add the potassium. No, nitrate. you've got to burn something else. Got to burn something else with it for the sugar to melt to melt and then burn dry out because of the heat absolutely dry because out it dries out that's all that's all that's happening that's why the sugar goes black because it's drying out and we saw the same thing with the, with the, the, the reaction, reaction between sugar. sodium hydroxide no sugar and sulfuric acid S sugar and sulfuric acid absolutely the sugar went black and that because it dried out it just dried out absolutely but we did see it i'm sure i saw a little yellow flame there which could have been the so um, him from the potassium. Uh, yeah, it could have been the. Uh, well, it's a possibility. It's a possibility. So there we go. So uh, I think we've done it. There we go. I think we've done it. Excuse me, yeah. Mr. Wizard. <laughs> See you later. Later. But yeah, none of that. None of that cuts, cuts the cake for me. And I certainly don't think that there's oxygen in the air yeah, at all. Absolutely. Especially not twenty-one percent. Well, because if you for have a simple to... reason, there's no proof. <clears throat> Or and it's because you've got some proof. Yeah. If you've got some proof, bring it to the table. Or whatever and I'll you try and I'll eat it all up yeah, as part of me dinner. Yeah, or whatever you, if you read your or local, I'll put some vinegar on it and eat it with me chips. Yeah. Or what you could do is uh, read your local paper, and when there's a news story of a fire, a local fire that's happened, you can always ask yourself and say, "Now I wonder who was using the potassium nitrate to get the fire." Absolutely, burning. yeah, absolutely. If you because see there's no oxygen in the air to burn the sugar, so there can't be any oxygen in the air to burn the house down. As, uh, especially when you've got 11 oxygens and 22, 22 so hydrogens. hydrogens. I, I mean, know. come on. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, even yeah. 12 carbons. The 12 carbons would just cancel out half of the... Well, you'd still have 10 hydrogens left over. Absolutely. And you'd have... Um, Five. Uh, well, you'd, you'd have 12 hydrogens. Ten, hyd ten hydrogens left over. Yeah, so about five. Plus the oxygen, oxygen in the air. Yeah, absolutely. it should have lit. Toasty. The sugar should have lit, but it doesn't. It doesn't, does it? No. It's ridiculous. It's because there's no hydrogen and oxygen in sugar. Absolutely, it's all it's all fucking Rubbish. bollocks, isn't it? But anyway. uh, but there we go. I there think that wraps us up wraps for up. Another, another evening. Another evening. And it's been wonderful. Oh, it's been a pleasure. So feels really. as if we're back to normal with our. Feels as if we're back, back to, normal. to normal. Absolutely, yes. of course. So there we go. Thanks ever so much. And always remember, till next time. time. Hopefully, CD, if you're watching, will get your video. Hopefully, yeah. And feel we free, can, send us we a can video. do what you've done. Absolutely. And then we can think, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, thanks ever so much. And we'll see you next mm. time. And always remember, till next time, if something it doesn't does make, make sense. sense, like oxygen in the air that would be enough to burn mm. sugar. Oh, well, yeah and thermally decomposing substances when you can actually thermally compose substances Ab absolutely of course yes you're not always decomposing things with heat absolutely. you are you're generating you're building things connecting things, things. constructing constructing things. substances with, with the heat. help of heat especially when you're burning things in the air Absolutely, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all rubbish. I've had Absolutely. a long day today. That's yeah. why.
But anyway, thanks so much. And we'll see you next time. Okay. Bye. Tell up. The earth isn't round, it's flat. How do you know? I've observed it in all my travels over Europe. It's flat. Everywhere it's flat.